day is vlogging a 747. That's my favorite aeroplane. That was probably time to good morning. I did not sleep well. I haven't been sleeping the best lately for some reason, and uh, the mattress here is not helping. It's uh, I not it's, it's yeah not sleeping the best, and it didn't this morning. There's a massive thunderstorm. I woke up to like the sound of what's I, I it sounded like a building had exploded, and uh, it turned out it was just thunder and lightning, thankfully, but. That was kind of intense this morning. Hopefully, no more rain, because guess who was convinced by the weather forecast that a rain jacket was not necessary. I don't know why we're starting with shoes every morning now. One of the other things that I was thinking about talking about, maybe today, or maybe with the, the next trip, since I've confessed now that we finally have 40 countries, so the next trip's gonna put us right over the top, just to secure our place, just to make sure that uh, even, that if somebody ever contests that I've been to one, at least I've got that extra one. Traveling alone is something else that I haven't really talked about that much. I, I've talked about it a little bit in comments and uh, you know to friends, but the highs, the lows, the good, the bad about traveling alone and what I think about it. But today we'll go do some more exploring in Budapest after I write for a little bit. I've been really wanting to spend some time dedicated just to writing. Yesterday I was planning on writing more than I ended up doing because I just took a long time to get other work done. And so today I just want to focus on that and then we'll wander around the city a little bit. My plan is to go see the labyrinth. I would also like to get up to the high point, whatever that, is. I need to find out what the name of that is because I, I, there's a statue and it's tall and I like going to high places. So that's my plan for today. If you'd like to join me, then you know stick around because it's just gonna keep happening. All you have to do is sit there in front of your computer or TV or phone or whatever, and it will continue to happen whether or not you do anything. This is happening. It's really hard to walk past that place because the coffee was really good and I, I just want coffee right now. But we're gonna try a new spot just around the corner. So if, assuming that it's riding friendly, that's the other thing. This is the risk. But there are a lot of coffee shops in Budapest according to the research that I've done. As simple as the research has been, so we'll hit that up and sit and write. And there's a chance that I'm gonna end up getting a little bit of a personalized tour of the city today because it turns out my mom's friend is a mom to a person that is here teaching English and uh, has been here for like four years to speak some Hungarian. So that could be the perfect combination for a little bit of an extra like what's going on. So stick around for that. Sure that's where I want to go, but I need to change my last 15 euros first, and I'm, I guess I should hit up an ATM. Pretty cheap. If I hadn't bought the coffee grinder, that was like 30 euros, I would have made it possibly this entire trip on just like 70 to 85 euros in total. It's not bad. That's my whole, that's the update. I'm going to change money and then coffee. I, Anna has found me, thankfully. This is Anna, we, who we connected because our moms had a conversation on Instagram about us, which is mom power. We're gonna go get lunch now because all I've had is that brownie and coffee today, which were both delicious. Uh, don't go there if you are not like a coffee drinker though, I would suggest. They have like no sugar printed on everything in the place. So if you need sugar with your coffee, not a place to go. Otherwise, really, really good coffee. I bought some for Pouchon. So that's all I got, food now. So we're in the Jewish district and one of the things I wandered around exploring last night a little bit while I was on the phone with my sister. She was having a day, gave her a call. Uh, Karin, I didn't tell you this, but I found out that it costs two euros a minute, just over two euros a minute, to call from here, from Budapest. And uh, we talked for like 35 minutes. It's a very expensive phone call, but uh, I love you. It was worth it. Okay, lunch. <laughs> Apple 
apple basil soda. That's new. She got soup and we both got sandwiches, but... What kind of soup is it? Green? That's a good sign. Wait, it's a cold green pea soup with mint, mm -hmm. and salmon, and tortilla chips. There you go. All right. It's saved. Well, this is amazing. I feel like bacon, onions, cheese, Something with garlic in it, the garlic sauce of some sort. It's probably garlic sour cream. Garlic sour cream. Whatever is going on in here is delicious and it's, I'm happy and I need to eat it. I forgot the uh, sausage when I was listing all the ingredients, but I found it very quickly. That was delicious. And it says that it's very much like all the traditional Hungarian food you could want in a sandwich. So very good, highly recommended. We're gonna go just down the street here to Zimpla, which is the oldest, correct? The oldest ruin pub or oldest ruin bar in the city. Ruin bars are actual like ruins that they've just kind of repurposed into bars. That doesn't really look that ruined, it just looks kind of rustic. But we'll see what it looks like on the inside. There's a lot of Star Wars references in this neighborhood. So anyways, we're gonna grab a quick drink and then we're going up to the highest point in the city. Oh yeah, I see the ruin aspect. Okay, now I definitely see the ruined aspect. This is pretty cool. We're at the base of the hill to go. Apparently this is not the tallest hill in the city. According to this one, you're the expert. So that's, I'm just, if, if. It's the tallest point in the center, I believe. Fair enough. I'm it's pretty sure. Good enough for me. So we're gonna go up to see the statue, wander up here, and then uh, hopefully fly for a minute. Wow. Just gotta figure out where the heck we're going. This way? Okay, following you. And back down. I actually started feeling like we were just talking about headaches because I was starting to feel like between the backpack and the heat and not drinking any water, starting to get a bit of a headache. But we hung out on top, enjoyed the breeze for a little bit, and now we're going back down. She actually is leaving the country, so she's gonna have a going away party that she's been nice enough to invite me to because otherwise her mom would probably yell at her for not inviting me to nice things. <laughs> I feel like we're six. But yeah, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna buy some ibuprofen, edit this, and then I would say that the top is well worth it. This was much more of an actual hike than the, the the palace, like going up to the or the the castle. Absolutely. The Buddha Castle was easy. This is an actual like this was work. Definitely felt it. Put that on the list of recommended things to do. I don't know what else. I, I don't know what else I have to say. I just wanted to make sure that I clued you into what was going on. <laughs> Getting a nice cool breeze off of these thunderstorms. Hoping it doesn't thunder or storm too hard because the going away party is supposed to be outside. So we'll see. Hopefully that works out. I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit. Get off the bike lane and into the walking lane here. I'm uh, going to go home, edit, join them. There's some lightning. We'll see if the thunder comes through here in a second. And uh, it doesn't bode well for the outdoor activities. I'll keep you updated. I feel like I'm racing against the storm now. The thunder keeps happening. I'm not sure if I'll capture it. But like, okay, it's like, it's already raining over there. And then over there too. This is um, disconcerting. Coming from three of four possible directions right now. I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit, I think. If I 
make it, it's gonna be just barely. I mean, keep missing the lightning. There was one that just struck very, very close, very, very loud, just like what woke me up this morning. Ooh, oh, here comes the rain, the drops. Kind of open another, another one strikes here quickly. Or it's too late. Oh, there we go. Wasn't that lightning? Maybe not. Oh, nothing quite as dramatic as the first round. Still gotta make it through the courtyard. Ah! All right, back, safe, alive, not struck by lightning. Good combination. I'm gonna edit, do some work. I might end it here. We'll see, it's, especially if it's gonna be stormy, it's not gonna be much to show, but I'll check in with you later. And if not, uh, you know, subscribe. So I'll, we'll see more Budapest tomorrow. And, you know, we'll be going back to France.